Hi, we've been living in our van with our cat, Big Changus, for over two years now. And here's like a little mini tour of everything we've done to make the space cat friendly and like any other items that we've used that have just made traveling on the road easier with a cat. This is our second iteration of the van build. So the first layout that we had was a little different, but we've had this current layout for over a year now. So we're gonna kind of walk through like the litter box, food, the water, and a bunch of other things. <laughs> Okay, so we have this bench seat over here and this is where we have a cubby that has her food and water underneath it and also a separate cubby for her litter box. So in the food and water cubby, we have an automatic water fountain that is plugged in and on pretty much every single time except we're driving. When we're driving, it can spill a little bit. So turn it off then. She has her automatic feeder, which is also right next to the water. In our previous van build of this version, we did not have a cubby for the food. So it was just out basically in our way. So when we redid this, we're like, we wanted a space exactly for the food and water. And so then the second cubby that she has is for her litter box. This is very similar to the version that we had in our first van build. We took a storage bin that fit the space perfectly and then cut out the side of the hole because the litter boxes that we were finding weren't fitting the space very well. So we have her litter box in there and we have some fake grass underneath because that's kind of the best method that we found to catch the litter, but it still involves sweeping every day and cleaning the litter box every day. It's definitely not perfect, but that is over here here. And so she has two big parts of this bench area that are designated just for her. Okay, so this is the bench that has her litter box. Her litter box is right underneath here. And one thing that I want to point out that we did, if she decides to move, can you move? The point of these bench seats is making this section removable. Otherwise, it would be a pain to get stuff in and out of there. So once she moves, I'll show you that this whole thing pops off and we have the same exact thing for her food and water cubby. It's got one layer and then underneath it, it pops off. And below we have the litter box. Would highly recommend that for bench areas because then you can put a bunch of other stuff and still have storage space. We store a lot of random things in here. Okay, so in the back, this is where we store her things like her cat tent and her backpack. The cat tent is the best thing that we have because we use this all the time, whether we are just doing like a water fill up and all the doors are open or if we're at a campsite, we used to have like a really small one and then we recently upgraded to a massive six piece one and she loves this one. It just fits all back here. They all like compact up. This is the one that we're gonna put her in right now. It was the best thing to get. So also back here, we have her cat backpack. We have a cat backpack. This is great for taking her on little mini hikes. We like it because it compacts like super flat and then it just spans like this. So cat backpack is also great to have. Here's the whole set. It's actually supposed to have another piece. It's supposed to be six pieces, but one of them kind of, I don't know what happened to it. I think we lost it. Her five piece mansion. So this is where we keep her tent and then we just keep it in place with this bungee right here. Her collar has two important things on it. One of it is the tractive GPS device, which is this big one right here. This is her little tag and this is her tile. So the tile is a Bluetooth tracker device while this one is the GPS. So why do we keep both of these on her collar? The GPS device only works if you have cell service and it is great if we do have cell service. You can pretty much pinpoint her current location and the battery on this thing lasts about a week. She's been using this brand, the tractive brand, Brand since we moved into the van. The reason that we recently got her tile or the Bluetooth device is this is used if we don't have cell service. And this is more of like an instant kind of location, like quick, we can beep her. It's really loud. The sound on the tile is a lot louder than the sound on the Tractive because the Tractive does have Bluetooth options, which are kind of similar to the tile, but I would say that they're not as strong and they're very lightweight. Tractive came out with a new piece for cats. We've not yet gotten it. Apparently you can switch it out, um, but we need to find that. So the combo of these two things, these are for security, backup, peace of mind. We don't use them to find her. If she's outside, she is on a leash. She's on her harness because we just don't trust her. GPS and Bluetooth, great for peace of mind good security backup. 
thing that took us almost a year to realize was that adding windows was actually the best thing that we could have done for Big Chungus. We have the regular van windows, but almost a year after living in the van, we added our side window and then on the sliding door. And then recently we added this little bunk window and this has turned into her favorite spot in the world. She can lay on the bed. She makes a little cozy space right here. And then she just sits and it slides so she can like look out at the birds and it has become her absolute favorite spot in this entire van. Uh, one of her favorite things to do is if we have this little slider open, she will sit there and then every time we walk by the van, or I'm sure other people walk by the van, um, she loves to say hello and she'll just meow her little head off. So that's her little way of communicating with everyone. So we blocked off the back area so that she couldn't get back behind the bed and we also made sure that from this center area on is the only space that she can kind of roam around in and she can't get back under the bed. So from here, we had to make sure that all of these little tiny cracks and corners, literally anything she could possibly squeeze into, she found a way. So we put bins in front of these areas, back behind our water tank. We had to, sometimes we have to stuff it with clothes. And this area, this is her favorite one to sneak into. Usually we just have it clipped like this, but recently she um, found a way to get up on the counter and squeeze herself past that. So now we have been putting a plank of wood here. So we need to kind of re-troubleshoot, but the goal is for her to not be able to get back into the electrical system. So all of this needs to be blocked off. About a month into being on the road, we realized that we had left a gap between the bed and these doors right here. And so she had basically weaseled her way and scrunched through this tiny gap. And so she got into the back. So we added planks. So basically we have wood that comes all the way up to the doors so that she cannot squeeze into any part of this back area. We've got a lot of things back here that we don't want her perusing through. <laughs> okay, we can't forget about the most important part of the whole van. Is her little dashboard spot. It's like it was specifically made for her. You gonna get comfy? Best seat in the house. Okay, so she has multiple storage areas. We have a storage area for her toys, her treats. We just have a bin. It also has a bunch of her wet food in here. So in this bin, we have things like her Christmas sweater, her treats, her harness. We have the rabbit goo one from Amazon. And then we have a little retractable leash. This is just like a little dog one. She has things like a little collapsible water dish, extra cat litter, catnip, toys, kind of a bunch of miscellaneous things in here. That is her little storage bin. All right, under here, this is her extra food bin. So we have her automatic feeder under that cubby. And then we have an entire, kind of hard to get out. But as you can see, it's back here and it's full of extra food because a lot of times when we're traveling, we've realized and we realized early on that a lot of stores don't carry the same exact type of food. So we like to stock up. We actually even have an extra bag behind this. So she has all of her extra food right here. But the important part is that she can't access the food. Like it has to be in a hard side container because she will rip open and destroy every single bag. So the extra bag that's behind that is like completely inaccessible to Oh, I know why she's there. You know that your food is right there. You're just gonna sit there and stare at your food. So we have a list of kind of miscellaneous items that we have added in this van that have made just living in here with her easier. One of them seems so simple, but it's a sink cover because when we lived in an apartment, she didn't seem to care about a sink that much, but now that she has very close access, if we decide to not do the dishes, we can just put this over here. Otherwise she is in the sink, keeping us up all night, licking the dishes. Like Chinese, we have to put this grate on here to keep you from getting in the sink. Doesn't stop her for, from getting in the faucet. There's some quality footage right there. I don't know, it's pretty great. She's got the eye contact going, little saucer eyes, little teeth. Oh, the scratching aspect, she loves to scratch. We do have one scratching post or mat that we put on the side of one of the bench areas. That's been good, but you know what she actually prefers? The back of the seat, which is absolutely destroyed. What we should have done from the start was put seat covers on it. So if you have a cat that likes to scratch and you're thinking of getting in a van, put seat covers on because it is destroyed. Oh, and cat hair, it's everywhere. I actually don't have a good uh, solution for that. We do vacuum a lot often. This is our little mini vacuum that we have. It is the greatest thing. That and sweeping every day does help a lot, but probably eat more cat hair than I would if I was living in an apartment, but that's fine. One thing that we thought would really work to keep her in the van, because sometimes you just want to hang out and you want to have the doors open and you're at a great camp spot, but you don't want her running out. And we thought that bug nets would work. Um, This is not the first bug net that we had, but basically we have not found a bug net that works to actually keep her in. As you can see, she pokes her head out of the back one. This one, we usually would 
attach to the top. This goes on the slider door. And then we would use clamps on the bottom to kind of hook it to the steps. Every single time she still found a way out. So we have yet to find a way that really will keep her in the van. So we usually put her on her harness and on her leash. And so she can kind of be near us and won't really roam too far away. Okay, so I wanted to close out the video with a few things. The most important being designating a spot for a litter box and food and water is what we feel is most important in a van build. We do not vent our litter box, which is a thing that some people do in their vans. And I think that that has a decent impact um, on smell if like you're someone that like has high sensitivity to those smells and um, we just clean the litter box every single day so it doesn't really bother us but that is an option that you can add i think harness training and introducing your cat to a harness and leash combo is really beneficial it has been so nice being able to put her on the harness and leash and she can get outside more a couple of other notes overall chungus is 12 so she is not a spry young kitten with a ton of energy which i think has a big impact on how we're able to travel with her she sleeps like all the time and then has like random spurts of energy so she doesn't have the energy of a kitten granted we still take her outside we let her go in the tent we take her on walks but she doesn't wreak havoc if she just kind of naps like she she lives the same exact life she actually exercises more i think than she did when she was in the house along with important things in the build with the litter box and the food and water combo having the back of the van blocked off so that they cannot reach electrical access i think is really important uh, that was a big one for us i think that's all Let's let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I will link everything that we included in the video in the details. This Chunglias says goodbye as well. Thanks for watching.